Hey everyone, it's almost Super Bowl time and I'm breaking out my monster stacker burgers on the Cooking Everything Outdoors show. Gary House, the Outdoor Cook, Cooking Everything Outdoors show. I hope you try this at home. So what exactly is a monster stacker burger. It's huge, I gotta tell you. But it's also a lot different than what you're used to. For one thing, I'm using the cedar trays again. And <clears throat> these are, I just made them up real quick out of regular cedar planks. They are five by five and a half inches by basically two and a half inches uh, tall on the outside. On this one, which I'm putting my ground beef into, my hamburger, I've drilled a couple of little weep holes in there so that the grease will drain out as it cooks. And this one, which I've already used twice, is what I'm going to put my bun in. And you can tell from the size of these things, these burgers are going to be massive. I really don't think anybody can eat one by themselves. And you'll see what I mean when I'm done. Let me go over the ingredients. Now mind you, on the ingredients, you can do this any way you want. When I made my first one, I had mushrooms in there and onion and cheese and other stuff that really, I think I had jalapenos in there too. And it just really pops. Uh, this is just a basic to get you started, how to do it. Now, first off, I'm making hamburger buns from scratch. I got this great recipe uh, on um, tasteofhome.com and I'll have that up on the website for you. We're gonna take our hamburger bun and we're gonna bake it and it's gonna be the size of this, the inside of this box using about a pound and a quarter of 85-15 ground beef, a couple slices of really thick sharp cheddar cheese, really thick red onion slice, and a couple of green chili slices. Gonna go on our stacker burger. Top that all off, I'm going to season the layers with braceros a sizzling steak rub, which I just absolutely love. Topping all of that off, I'm going to be using Stubbs barbecue sauce. This is the smoky mesquite. You're probably familiar with that. And I'm also going to be using the eye grill to monitor the internal temperature so I don't overcook it. A couple other tools you're going to need because we're putting wood in a grill fire. You're going to need a nice fire extinguisher. I always keep a bottle of water uh, to squirt and uh, in case I get any flare-ups, feel free to drop it as necessary. A pair of pliers, screwdriver, some heavy-duty gloves. The thing we want to do is preheat our grill. Our bun is going to cook at 425, about 25 minutes until uh, it's actually done um, because it's really big hamburger bun. Uh, this recipe that uh, you can find on the website from Taste of Home will make three buns this size. So if you had three pounds of hamburger and three each of these goodies and three blanks uh, or six blanks uh, cedar trays, you could have a massive, massive meal. And I want to preheat these boxes up a little bit especially the one I'm going to be baking the bread in. It's going to help it cook a lot easier. And then I'm also going to burn off some in anything that might be in there that I don't know about or can't see. So we're at 475. When I open this up, temperature is going to drop. It's pretty cool out there. These are only going to go on for probably three or four minutes. It's going to be real quick. We'll hear it popping and snapping and we'll know it's at the right point. It's been a couple minutes. These are starting to char up real nice. I want to get them off. Like that, we're just warming it up. Getting a little burn on there. They're hot, so be careful. To get started, I want to take some spray. Just coat the inside a little bit so our hamburger buns don't stick. So our hamburger bun here, I pre-made, actually did this yesterday. And uh, it's, it's maybe a 20 minute recipe, really. 
goes really, really, really fast. Not, not a lot of five minutes of kneading, a couple minutes of mixing, and you let it sit for a few minutes, and really you cook. So get it somewhat squared up and set it in your cedar tray there. I like to take a little knife and give me a little bit of a couple slices on there for some decorative effect. Absolutely not necessary. And this is going to go into our barbecue grill at 425 for about 25 minutes. And we'll use a toothpick to test to make sure it's done. Right in the center. The reason we want to do that is because we really want it to cool off a little bit uh, when we go to assemble all of this. So we'll start prepping our uh, Monster Stacker Burger. The less you play with this, the better. And what I want to do is divide this up into fourths. And however you want to do that, you're welcome to. This happens to work for me. And these are my layers. So getting back to our cedar box with the grease weep holes in there. And give that a good spray. Now one of the questions you might have is why I didn't soak these trays. Well, I haven't really found the need to do it. And I don't have anything more scientific than that. I do have my barbecue uh, with just the burners go in this direction on this Weber. I have the one in the middle off. I watch them like a hawk. If it looks like they're going to catch on fire, I'm ready for them. But I haven't found the need to soak them yet. May change that opinion down the road, I'm not sure. But for now and for all purposes, I've been putting them in there dry and they've worked out just fine. Do what you think is best. If you need to soak them, soak them for a couple hours and you'll be in good shape. So take your um, first layer of hamburger, and it's going to be, you know, pretty darn, pretty darn thin here, and that that's okay. This could really probably use two pounds of burger if you want, but I'm finding that one and a quarter to one and a half pounds of hamburger works pretty darn good. Some stuff will leak. That's no big deal. And I'm going to take my first slice, oh, excuse me. First, I'm going to take my steak rub and sprinkle that over the top on each layer. And I'm going to take my onion ring and set that in there. Take another quarter of my hamburger. And you notice I'm not mashing it, um, make it into a ball or, or anything. I'm just spreading it out as delicately as I can to capture and surround the stuffing ingredients that are in there. And so we have another layer there. It looks pretty darn good. Another nice sprinkle. Let's get our peppers and lay them in there. You feeling this yet? I'll tell you, this is good. Take another chunk of burger. Let's take this larger one here. Spread that out over the peppers. And we'll have just enough room to get our cheese in there. And we'll take a little sprinkle. Brassero. Get our cheese right on the top. Last of the hamburger. Work that all around till you've got your stuffed ingredients fairly well covered. You're going to get shrinkage on this. Most part, that's what we're talking about. All 
Okay. We're going to let our hamburger bun go a little bit longer. And when that's about halfway cooked, I'm going to put my stacker, monster stacker burger in there and start cooking at it. That's uh, two inches of hamburger glory right there. I know you can appreciate that. We'll get cooking here in just a minute. Our hamburger bun for our Monster Stacker Burger is just about done. Got my Monster Stacker Burger prepared. I want to take my probe for with my wireless eye grill and I'm going to insert that past the cheese right about in the in the center there and, and I'm only doing this because it makes it a lot easier to determine how well this is cooked on the inside. Uh, first time I did this a little while back, <clears throat> kind of overcooked it and I realized that you just can't guess at this. It's too big, it's too massive uh, to guess at and depending on what you insert in the middle of the sink can affect the cooking time also. So let's get this started. Oh, look at that hamburger bun. That is coming along nice. We'll scoot that over to the side. Get our hamburger right in there with that. Get my eye grill going. And we're cooking, baby. So using the toothpick test, which is inserting it into your cooked bread or whatever, if it comes out dry, that means it's done. Our Monster Stacker Burger hamburger bun is done. <clears throat> Let's get that out and we'll be able to let that cool off. There's that bad boy. Get it out of our box. Boom. Simple as that. We want this to cool off. And there she be. So we're going to let this cool off and then we'll slice it, get some layers out of that so we can put our monster stacker burger together. So we're at 105 degrees according to the wireless eye grill. Now we need to add our barbecue sauce. Get a little stubs. Oh, look at that. Got some of that cheese oozing through. The hamburger's browning up beautifully. All the grease is dripping down, creating these incredible aromas. And now I'm going to slather it with barbecue sauce because this is how we're going to finish it off. And I want it to dribble down the sides too, so don't be afraid to get a little bit of love on there. All right, let's finish cooking it. I'm looking for about medium. Okay, <clears throat> we're really just about done, but one thing, I, I'm going to pull a little switcheroo. This is the bun I just made and, and it didn't rise as much as I'd want it to because the, the dough was a day old. And this is the bun that I made the day before and it's much larger and I'm able to get three slices out of it which is exactly what I'm looking for. And that's what we're going to use. So, before and after maybe. So this is at 140. <coughs> By the time I get it out and get it out of the box it's going to be about 145 so medium is about 140 it's going to creep on a little on the high side of 145 and that's okay i'm good with that i also want to toast up the middle slice of my bread here real quick too so look at that Whew. man oh man i want to get my probe out of there And, hey, there's the alarm that just went off. A little Willie Lobo there. How do I turn that off? I grill wireless. Cool. 
If you haven't heard of Willie and Lobo, go look them up. You'll love them. Flamingo guitar, little gypsy boogaloo with violin. So, here is our very large stacker burger. And we need to get that out of there. That's where the pliers and the screwdriver is going to come in handy. But first, I want to toast this up just a little bit. Okay, let's get this burger out of here. And what I like to do now, this is really, really hot. But I'll take a, a screwdriver and I'll just find a loose joint there because these are only connected with the a couple nails and it's going to be messy but we'll get this pried open and then I will separate it with the pliers here and I just want one side of this off that's all I'm looking for I got cheese oozing everywhere okay let me spin this around so maybe you can see what i'm doing here the channel locks okay that's done let's just set this aside out of the way we have our monster Stacker burger in there, which I hope you can see. Now, what I have to do is get this out of the tray, which is really not that difficult. Nice little spatula lifts it all out. We'll set it right there. You can admire the size of that bad boy. My handy little garbage can there. Double check my bread. Just want it slightly toasted. And when that's done, we're going to build this. Okay, I decided to toast the top and the bottom up a little bit too. So now we're going to build this. <clears throat> and What I do is I will take my stack burger here and I'm going to, um, basically I'm going to cut it in half. Now there is a section in there where my chili peppers are right in the middle. So I had hamburger, onion, chili peppers, and hamburger, then cheese, and then hamburger. And I'm just going to find the halfway point here and I'm going to very carefully because it's still really, really hot. I'm going to cut it right in half as evenly as possible without cutting my mm, fingers off. Okay. So, let's see here. First things first, we'll put the whole thing on top of the bottom. And then I will lift the Top off. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see how cool that looks. But you can see the chili peppers in there, the cooked onion, the hamburger. And uh, at this point, of course, I need to add a little bit more barbecue sauce to the middle. I'm just going to drizzle some of my stubs on there. Put my middle piece on, put my top stacker on, mm. plenty of sauce there, can't have a burger without a little bit of tomato and lettuce, entirely optional. These are Roma tomatoes, no big giant beef steaks available this time of the year. Some nice lettuce on there. My hamburger bun and <laughs> hoo ya. 
That there, my friends, is the Cooking Everything Outdoors Monster Stacker Burger. Just in time for the Super Bowl. How you're going to eat it, I have absolutely no idea. Actually, I do. Let me show you a couple things here. Okay, how do you eat this? I'll show you in just a second. But first off, i got to say my little spiel. I want to thank my sponsors, OutdoorCooking.com, Camp Chef, IslandGrillStone.com. I want to also remind you that you can leave a comment down below on YouTube. I really appreciate those. I respond to every one of them. Give this video a big thumbs up. You can find me at cooking-outdoors.com, YouTube, of course, iTunes, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Pinterest, and Google+. I'm playing with that just a little bit. <clears throat> Any questions, just send me an email at uh, info at cooking-outdoors, cooking-outdoors.com. Let's slice this up, serve it, and uh, get a bite out of this thing. So, what I do is I take and I will quarter this up so that it is easy to slice. And using this centerpiece here, I will triangulate everything very gently. And what we're going to get is two giant, or two, actually four, giant burgers out of this. <clears throat> That is certainly going to satisfy any, anybody, of any kind of appetite. So let's take a look at this. Hopefully they won't fall apart on me. These are absolutely monstrous burgers. I guess more importantly that I don't drop them. <clears throat> and you can get just a small idea of how amazing these really, really are. Let's see here. How do we do this? Like that, I think. Get that other one in that plate. There you are. Game on. This is Gary House cooking everything outdoors. Thanks. Huge.